Welcome back to the channel everybody. Welcome back to the vlog. I want to thank you so much for hitting that play button today. If you happen to be stopping in for the very first time, my name is Chuck. I am a local LTL driver for Estes Express, the big E, and uh, I'm a, specifically a, a pickup and delivery driver. And I like to try to bring you with me when I can. Um, now, for some of you that have been with the channel for a while, you know I've been gone for about three weeks. I uh, took a little time off from doing YouTube. You know, sometimes, sometimes that's good to do, just kind of refresh a little bit. Uh, but as I said in the title, uh, this is my last PND video. Uh, because in two weeks, I am officially going to be uh, in the line haul division. And uh, for about six weeks, I'm going to be running a uh, bid run that uh, takes me from Tulsa to Oklahoma City up to Wichita, Kansas, back to Oklahoma City, and then back to Tulsa. It's about 534 miles a night. I'm going to be doing that for six weeks because uh, it's a brand new route and uh, bid season uh, doesn't kick in as far as going to effect until like March, the first week of March. Um, so at that point, I'm going to be most likely on the extra board. Um, you know, my, my, my goal was to always be a bid run driver out of our terminal. And, um, you know, I, I have done line haul in the past and, you know, just, you know, the timing wasn't right. Sometimes, you know, you jump ahead of yourself and you do some things before you really need to, uh, but everything is where it needs to be now, and you know I'm super excited about it. I told my my dispatcher, I mean my terminal manager, I said, "This is it." I said, "When I go to line hall, I said for some reason if it doesn't work out, then I won't be coming back to the city. I'll you know figure out something else to do." So yeah, this is it. Um, if you are starting for the very first time, I've got about over 80 videos of what it's like to be a PND driver. I know uh, a lot of people do stop by the channel because they're thinking about getting into this line of work and you know they want to see what it's about so uh, there's plenty of videos uh, on my channel so that you can see what that's like uh, doing this on a daily basis so I figure I'd bring bring you with me one last time here on the PND now I will be vlogging um, the line haul side of things once we get started with that uh, so definitely make sure you hit the subscribe button you'll definitely want to come along for that journey and uh, this first place we're going to is right here. I'm up here in Independence, Kansas. Got uh, some deliveries up here, and then as well as uh, some pickups. I've never been here, so we're gonna figure this place out together. It looks like from Google Maps there should be a dock right here. It looks like the best way to probably hit it is going to be, let's make sure. Yeah, right there's the dock we're gonna hit. Roll the window down for you guys. They're only getting one pallet. Got some snow up here or something. Yeah, a little bit of snow. Been quite cold. I hope everybody had a great uh, Christmas and New Year's. Hope uh, everything went well for you. here and deliver this. Ah! 
Howdy. Hello. Got one pallet for you guys. Get back in the hang of everything now. <laughs> Took too many days off in the last two weeks. <laughs> I know it. It kind of makes it rough. It'll be right, right there. Okay, this right here will be your copy. Well, you have a wonderful day, sir. You too, Thank you. Yeah, all those pallets that are in there are going, I'm taking them to a company that does all the returns for a, a national uh, place that you go and you buy auto parts. Uh, you would definitely know the name. I'm sure there's one right there in your neighborhood. Uh, so I'm going to head over there. I've got 18 pallets for them, and then uh, I've got a pickup at that same location, so I'll do the pickup there, and then we will see what else dispatch sends us to do, whether we're going to stay in Kansas or head back to uh, the Tulsa area and start doing some pickups. So, guys, we will see you when we uh, get over to the next. All right, our next place is about uh, maybe three three quarters of a mile up here. Their dock, I've got to kind of go in, then you got to come out towards the street and then back in. It's pretty severely down downhill. Uh, I know on camera it probably won't come out as steep as it is, but it's a pretty steep little little dock. Anybody else here? Oh, yeah. FedEx, Old Dominion, heck, everybody's here. You can kind of see by how <laughs> how sloped those trucks are, just how steep that is. I've never, I've always used those two doors. I'm assuming I can use that door there. We're gonna have to come out here quite a bit. Anybody coming? Nope. Plenty of room over there. <laughs> kind of got a drop on. forward some. Turn that heel assist off.
Alrighty guys, I'm gonna go get these uh, 18 pallets delivered. This does take a while because you gotta check each one of them in. Uh, so I'll see you guys when I get. All right, we got uh, those 18 pallets delivered. Took about a about what I thought. Usually it's you know iron 20 minutes or so. And then uh, I I did have uh, three skids to pick up here. And so we're going to. get out of the way here and uh, see uh, I, have, I don't have any other pickups on my handheld so I'll wait on dispatch see what we're gonna do here usually this I don't know if this is still open mm, I ain't gonna go in there um, let's go back I'm gonna go back over to uh, there's a parking lot over at that other shipper so I'm gonna go hang out there and uh, Usually dispatch sends it right through, so I might not even make it over there before we before I know where we're headed next. So guys, I'll see you guys at the next stop. All right, we're about to arrive to this next pickup here. I left Kansas, independent Kansas, and I've come back into Tulsa. So we're going to. I've been to this place a handful of times. Nice guys in here. They uh, do plastics. Basically, we're going to go, it's this building right here. We're going to go in and then uh, try to leave our trailer. They've got a, a pad, kind of like a concrete pad. I'll leave my trailer on there so they can drive out with their forklift and because they don't have a dock. Usually they'll come out right there. I just gotta go in here and put pro stickers on it and right, right, right there. Yeah. Two different ones? Yeah. Okay. Oh yeah, yourself? You ready to get back to normal? I think a lot of people are ready to get back to normal. Let's get back to the normal routine. Yeah, sometimes they don't think about pallet jacks. No. Luckily it's not heavy.
Something about, somebody spilled something in here. It's up high, people, those guys can see that. <laughs> Turned into a beautiful day. Started off kind of gluey, cold, it's like 52 degrees. guys we'll see you at the next one I'm gonna fire this up because you know I, don't, I really don't come downtown that often and uh, the place I'm going to is just on the you really you can get there another way but it looks even more sketchier than <laughs> taking my taking uh, my chances with going downtown here we got a bridge 1611 we're good there the biggest thing with coming downtown is just watching all the signs there's some of these roads they don't want you taking trucks down. Oh, this is all one way. See, I don't I don't ever come down here. I've been down here a couple times doing this, but it's been so long ago, I don't remember. So we'll move over to this lane. Looks like we're gonna be turning right here. Nobody coming other way. Cause I have been to places down here that and big trucks right there, so we know we're good there. <laughs> A lot of one-way streets down here. Downtown Big T, Tulsa. Those little motorbikes or little electric bikes or something. Scooters. I guess you use your credit card or debit card or something to swipe them. Tell I'm not a city slicker. I got quite a few of them. Let me know in the comments. Anybody ever use one of them? I'm sure they have them in other cities. Kind of look beat up. I don't know. Is it, do you just ride it somewhere and put it down or just ride it somewhere and leave it there? I'm assuming so. Uh, the place I'm going to is going to be kind of, we're going to snake right here and should be right there. First Street. I better get over one. I'll be right here. There it is. Shipping and receiving it right there. Put my four ways on. All right, let's go see what this is all about. Mm-hmm. <laughs> 
Will they have the paperwork out here? Yes, they'll take it. Okay, thank you. I'm glad to see it's those. I said, I'm glad to see it's these, not those over there. Well, those pallets may be like that other one. I don't know if my pallet jack gonna fit underneath them. It might, it might, it might. Come on, baby, come on. Nope. Nope. I don't know if I can slide these. I might be able to. Hopefully I go somewhere else. You put that one right here. Oh, that one I can put a pat. Never mind, I can get that. I just can't get my pal jack underneath that. Thank you. It'd be nice if they were both on pallets like this. So, how we'll handle that is, that's, that's put on there pretty, I like how they've done that. Got that piece of wood over it and them straps. though so that one's kind of up against that I'm going to use these straps to strap into the wall okay a little added protection there so we got that strap the wall that one over there strapped Guys, I think that's going to do it for the, today's vlog. I want to thank you so much for hitting that play button. Remember, this is the last P&D vlog that I'll be shooting. And uh, here in a couple of weeks, we'll be out on line haul. And I'll start sh shooting some footage of that so you guys can see what that's all about. But guys, until I see you at the next video, I hope each and every one of you have a blessed rest of your day. And remember this, 
life is truly short. Make sure you make it sweet. Guys, I appreciate you. Peace. I was too young And I didn't understand that you Sometimes what's right is wrong instead Cause I